This week we're on the kayak side of my shop. We're gonna take a break from the kayak trailer build to install some new custom deck pad. Y'all stick around. Before we get into today's video, I wanna give a huge shout out to New Air. If you're a follower of my channel, you know that I have partnered with New Air on several of their many, many products from my shop fridge you see here to my shop fan to my portable ice machine that we take with us when we go camping. They have a ton of stuff on their website and everything that I've ever gotten from them, I still use to this day. Even my camp fridge, I absolutely love that thing. But this month is their anniversary and I just wanna shout out a huge happy anniversary to New Air and they wanna celebrate in their own little way. So they have created an anniversary series mini shop fridge. It's this one right here. It will hold 100 cans of whatever you drink. You can put it in here, put it in your office or in your shop. They sent out one to me and they wanna share it with you guys. They're really cheap and they're only, there's a limited edition of these things. So after they're gone, they're gone. I'm gonna link it in the video description below. They also sent me a promo code to give out to you guys. I'll have it down there next to the link you can go straight there pick you up one of these for your shop or if you like me and you like to have a cold drink when you're out in the shop working this one's going in my office next to where i edit these videos so i'm going to have a nice one that actually matches my bigger one that they sent me last year i'll have a link to this below too if you're interested in this one but this is their anniversary series mini fridge 100 can be beverage fridge i believe is what they call it it's got a cool see-through door led light on the inside these things are super quiet I'm absolutely gonna love it in my office. Pick you one up, links below. Thank you, New Air. I look forward to many, many more videos and partnerships working with you throughout the future. Now back to the video. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. This week, we're gonna take a little break from the kayak trailer build that we've been working on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, be sure to check out my homepage after this video. We're building an insane kayak camping trailer right here on the channel right now. But I've been waiting on some stuff to come in so we could get back to work on this Hobie Pro Angler 14. And it finally came in. I ordered some custom deck mat for this boat and I wanted to install it with you guys here on the channel. So today the plan is we're gonna clean the boat up with some alcohol. We're gonna remove some of the factory padding because the kit that I ordered actually replaces these pads that come factory in the floor of this boat and I guess I can tell you where I got this stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you be up front with you I'm not sponsored by them at all this is by marine mat it seems to be the only ones online there's a couple of smaller ones out there but they didn't have precision cutting and the two colors and stuff but they seem to be kind of the only ones you can get it from right now but I will say this stuff is very expensive for what it is and it took them over a month to even ship it out to me. I don't know if it's got anything to do with what's going on in the crazy world we're living in right now, but it took over a month for them to even ship it. I finally got it in. It is the colors I want. The product looks good. I just hope that the quality is good and it matches up with how much I actually had to pay for this. You guys, I'll, I'll, I'll link it below. And if you're interested in adding this to boat, you can, you can go see how much I actually paid for this. So it's not cheap, but we're gonna do it right. We're gonna install it the way it's supposed to be installed. We're gonna clean the boat really well and hopefully it sticks good and it looks good because this kit is supposed to be amazing. This kayak was kind of neglected by the last owner. And I, I'd say that when I bought it, he had it inside, but you can tell from the top of the kayak that it, it spent a lot of its life. It's a 2018, so it spent a couple of summers outside and the top is just completely faded. And you know the kayaks, how they get that weird feel of the plastic after they've sit out in the sun for a while, that kind of brittle, or not brittle, it's just kind of, I don't know, it's a rough feel to it. So we're gonna wipe everything down. Any nicks that I see, I'm gonna hit with a sandpaper before we put any of this uh, backing on here. It's supposed to be really sticky, so. But I guess we'll take the seats out, we're gonna pull the drive out, we're gonna take off the boondocks. Uh, if you haven't seen the video where I installed these, I just uploaded a video a couple of weeks ago on installing these bad boys right here. So you can check that out. I'll link it here or in the video description, you can go there. But let's get everything out of this kayak. I'll lay out all of the pad after we get it cleaned and we'll just start at the front and try to work our way to the back.
All right, I'm trying to get you guys the best shot possible for this. So as you've seen, these pulled up really easy. I've actually didn't even know these little molded in pieces were up under here. It's just like a little cavity that goes down to where the foam is in the hole that holds it together. I guess this is, since you're gonna be sitting and standing in this area mostly, it's the, where they add most of the support. So, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take an air hose, I'm gonna blow out any of the big stuff that's in here, and then we're gonna clean everything really good with isopropyl alcohol. All right, so everything is all cleaned up now. I blew it off twice. I uh, rubbed everything down with the isopropyl alcohol. It's, it's really dried out now. So what I'm gonna do is start up here at the front. Now, if you've seen at the beginning, I had a whole pile of uh, the mat just sitting here. And that's because when it shipped to me, it shipped inside a sealed bag and it was packaged really well and it was in a, a sealed box and you open it up. And what it is is everything is cut precisely to every section of the kayak that you order it for. And they sell them for, I think, Natives, Hobies, all, all kind of brands of kayak. So uh, everything should fit correctly. I did see a bunch of forums where they talked about some of them will be a little bit offset, like the circle cut up here is maybe a little bit offset to these two little indentions on the front. So it, I'm gonna line it up and do the best job I can. I've installed a lot of deck mat. Uh, if you follow along my channel, you know I've done a lot of kayaks. This is the first time I've used marine mat, so I'm definitely gonna let you guys know what I honestly think about it uh, today and over the next several weeks as I use it, if it comes up, if it starts to rub holes, anything like that. So I'm just gonna grab one piece at a time out of the pile and try to figure out where it goes up front and then we'll just work our way to the back. So I'm gonna start with a nose right here. I went with a really cool gray and it's got the brushed effect and I outlined it in the black because I thought that it would go really well with the, uh, the graphics that I'm planning to put on the side of it for the wrap. So if you're not subscribed, I'm gonna wrap this soon, uh, doing a custom wrap job. So subscribe for that. Let's just, I guess we gotta go for it. Now they make this removable. So this little circle here, I can actually pop out if you had your Hobie logo. This one was missing the Hobie logo. So I might stick this in there in just a minute after we get this front piece stuck. And let's hope I don't mess up. Let me slide this back. I'm gonna do one side at a time on this piece just to make sure that I'm doing it right. I hope that's right. I'm rubbing it down now. Yeah, this is definitely not cut. Exact, it's definitely not cut perfect. As you, I don't know if you guys can tell, and I'll do an up close here in a minute once we get it all stuck on, but these are definitely not exactly where they should be for this kayak. 
the circle is way off. Hopefully most of this front part will be hidden before long with a uh, GPS trolling motor. So we're just gonna stick this up here. Still want it to look good though. Now we'll do the lid. All right, that was a great idea. So there's a lot of pieces to this. So if you do order this kit, do this, lay it all out. Make sure you've got everything. I seem to have everything except for one. Uh, they also send pads for the Mirage Drive foot pedals, but I, I think I, we had two when I opened it. So it's around here somewhere. Not that big of a deal. I'll find it at the end of this, but just lay everything out, figure out exactly where it goes because it is a lot of pieces. And now I'm just gonna start back where I end it off off the top of this cap and rub everything down, get it exactly where it goes. I am noticing that the edges on some of the curves wanna pop up after a few minutes. Just go back with your finger and rub down the edge real tight. I'm gonna rub it, I'll come out here throughout the day tonight uh, cause it's gonna get pretty warm in my garage and it might pop some of it up for a little while, but just keep, keep it down and it should stay down. It's, it's really, really sticky. So I don't think we're gonna have any issues once we get it adhered to the boat of it popping up and coming off or anything like that. So I'm just gonna start right back here and then we're gonna work our way to the back now. I'm going to show it to you real quick before we put the seats and stuff back on it, but here it is. And I'll show you up close a, a lot of the little spots that I was talking about. So right here, as you can tell, it's got these tabs that poke off here for the handle. And then you got some tabs here for the webbing that holds the 
the front latch. You see, if you center one of them up, the other one will not center up. So even if I was to move this one over to get this one even more center, pulling it further this way would have just pulled it on top of this here. So it is not perfect. By no means this is not cut perfect. It is very close, close enough that it, at first glance, it's gonna take somebody really looking at it to, to see that it's off. Uh, there's a few places like these bigger pads here, as you can see the outline, I don't know, it's hard to even tell on camera, but the, the uniformity is just not, it's not there. It's not, I would have had to have kind of bent it and I didn't want to do any bending of the fabric. I wanted it to lay naturally flat the way it's cut. So I got it in there the best that I could. It, it turned out really good. I, I, I'm going to be happy with it. We're going to get so much stuff rigged up on this boat that you're not going to see a whole lot of these pieces anyway, but it turned out good. Now, this is the full kit. You can also buy this in just a, I think it's like just the deck. So you don't get the pieces on the top of the kayak on the front, the pieces on the top of the kayak on the back. All you basically get are a couple of pads uh, around your factory pads, the lid pad, and then the back deck pad. I believe that's all you get. But I love this color. Now you can, they do have lots of different colors to choose from. Just be prepared for the price. All right, I got it propped up so you can see the entire deck. What do you guys think? I really like it. I really like the, the gray and the black. I didn't want to go too crazy, but like I said, they've got a ton of different colors. And I've seen a lot of guys on, you know, I got on YouTube and on Google and just looked at the images of what guys actually do color wise. And you can mix and match some crazy colors. I've seen some guys with like the main area was blue and they had it trimmed in like a lime green. And then one guy had a blue and a pink and it was some crazy colors. I didn't want to go that extreme. I just wanted the gray with the outline of black to, to kind of make it pop a little bit, but I'm super happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow along with the builds on this thing right here. We're going to be modding this thing out. I got a lot of cool stuff coming for this. And I'm also building a kayak camping trailer. It's actually behind you. I keep pointing behind the camera, but it's behind you guys in the garage here. We are working on it. We are turning it into like an awesome kayak camping getaway. So we can just throw the kayak on there and take it to a lake or or somewhere up on the mountain and camp by a pond or something and have a tent, an air conditioner, an awning, all kind of cool stuff. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe, go to my homepage, check out all those cool videos, and I'll catch you guys next Thursday at two o'clock. Peace.